What up everybody, welcome back to Fro Publications YouTube channel. On this channel we talk about zines and DIY publishing. And today was an amazing day. I woke up, saw that I got an order from Ed the Cameraman for a subscription to the Feral Comics Project. If you're unfamiliar with the Feral Comics Project, that's the comic book zine anthology that I publish. The latest issue, it's about five of us working on this latest issue. Came out very, very strong, hella happy with it. So, so as soon as I got up, I got them orders ready to go out and when I say orders I mean Ed's order as well as Steph's giveaway. It definitely was fun uh, to finally use the scale that I got and uh, definitely understanding and learning but after that I had breakfast with my morning cup of coffee and with my morning coffee I accomplished two tasks that I had which was finishing the ZNN article as well as discontinuing Feral Comics issue number eight. And here it is you guys Feral Comics issue number eight as promise is no longer ed you're gonna get the last issue of Feral comics issue number eight and here is what that article looks like posted it up everywhere that i could trying to spread the word on this earth day 2021 project that we got and so that article for the znn platform is now up available link in the show notes if you guys are interested in checking that out basically let me go ahead and summarize it for you guys it's basically me talking about why Feral Publication wanted to do this project, talking about kind of Earth Day and uh, basically just talking about kind of helping to build that culture of resistance or that direct action kind of attitude of like about actively and deliberately um, taking tangible steps to, you know, change the, the things that I want to change in the world. You know what I mean? And uh, I think it's important that we all do that. And so there's also words from Conceivable and it's basically uh, Conceivable explaining the thought process behind the project and ultimately what Conceivable was trying to achieve uh, uh, through the project. So, you know, if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check the notes out. After that, I started working on Feral Comics issue number 10. It really does feel like this issue is going to come together a lot smoother than a lot of the other past issues and that's because we have momentum. There's people jumping in and out now and so... Now I'm in a situation where I have submissions all the time and, I, and I'm always looking through them and, you know, it just feels more fluid. It feels like it's actually flowing. And so that issue is going to be done pretty soon. And uh, and I was working on some like my, my little uh, input for the next issue and it's going to be kind of a diary comic. And uh, I thought it'd be fun for us today to check out uh, The Fam issue one and two, which are zines that I made that are discontinued that are uh, diary comics that I made. So this is uh, the diary comics that I've done. I uh, did them under the name of The Fam. And I uh, thought since they're discontinued, why not go ahead and read one of them? And this is the one I would like to read. It's called In a Perfect World. And it reads, That's me. I'm nothing special. I move boxes around for money. If I don't, my family's well-being is jeopardized. It's bone-aching work. But while I work my wage slavery, I dream of another world, one where... I don't have to leave my family. I could spend it with them all the time. A simpler life that doesn't exist anymore, where I can truly keep my family happy. Linda understands. This now is not living. I know the pups understand. They break my heart every time I walk out the apartment. They look at me with teary eyes, judging me, asking me how I could abandon them. They worry, wondering if I'll be alright, if I'll make it back or not. I tried explaining the situation to them, but they just don't speak primate yet. Look, if I don't go, we starve. They don't give a fuck what I'm up to. If it was up to them, they'd watch my back while I moved boxes. That's why I dream of a zombie apocalypse. I hope it comes to murder this world that is murdering my life. But it probably won't be zombies. Maybe some sort of chemical warfare that will allow the survivors to build a new world or small pocket communities. I don't want much just to live freely with my family. But the truth is that it more than likely will be some sort of climate change that makes a new life possible. And it won't be easy. We will need to find shelter, water, and dodge other threats. But a small price to pay to be free. And there we will be free. And at that moment we will have no masters. We will depend on no one but ourselves. And everything will be gladly taken. Great addition for tonight's feast. It'll be great. Savages to today's world, but we will be free people living a beautiful, humble life. 
But until then, I'll be here lifting these boxes, destroying my body so that they can fire me later, dreaming and hoping for the chance to roam free with the fam. That was kind of like the first one. And uh, yeah, I was just rereading some of them. And then here it goes. You're fired. Shit. <laughs> Tell me I don't know of life. You know what I mean? When you look at this art, man, it's so rough. And then when you look at the newer art, when you look at some of the newer art, right, it just looks way more alive. And here goes some of the sketches from today, just uh, trying to figure out the style that I saw in one of the comics that I was reading, this heavy, dark shading of the side. And I dug it, so here's my iteration of it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lates.